You guys know what time it is. Eat bacon with me while we talk about men and boundaries. First, aren't we so glad this isn't dripping disgusting bacon juice like last time? I mean, I could gag again just thinking about that. But this week, we've been doing something new with the group where I have personally been getting on a one-on-one -on -one call with each of the members to understand their goals, the reason they joined the membership. But one of the recurring themes that keeps coming up for these men is boundaries and how a lot of men find themselves in this very uncomfortable place where they are constantly doing things for other people but never really getting anything in return and kind of just becoming a doormat. What I usually see happen is from a very young age, men take on a chameleon-like role. They put on a certain mask for anybody they're around to be good enough, to be worthy enough, to gain love, affection, attention, because when they were young, they were never taught that being themselves was good enough. They were taught that love was earned through working hard or being a man or by not showing emotions. What this does is it makes them think that their emotions don't matter. So they don't understand self-worth and therefore they don't understand how to set boundaries. Boundaries are not rules that we give someone else to engage with us. They are rules for engaging with us. And often when we set boundaries with other people, we try to say something's gonna happen and we don't uphold the consequence. Kind of like a no trespassing sign. You have a sign up in front of your house that says beware of dog and you don't actually have a dog. Well, if someone's gonna trespass and they're gonna be like, well, that was really just a suggestion and almost a lie. So if you set up a boundary with someone where you say, cross this boundary or we can't be friends anymore, and they cross that boundary and you're still friends, well then it, it wasn't really a boundary, it was a suggestion or more so a lie. Also happens for a lot of men, nobody tells them that when you've entered into a space with someone where boundaries weren't there in the first place, it's very hard to then start setting boundaries because that person has become so used to the container where boundaries didn't exist, they're used to you being a doormat. So then when a man finally does start setting boundaries, he feels the weight of everybody leaving him because they don't like the new person he's become, even though it's healthier. So he then thinks he's done something wrong or boundaries don't work. Boundaries are meant to keep you safe and healthy. So actually, if a boundary is keeping a burglar out, it's doing the right thing. You're just so used to having burglars in your house that you think it's doing the wrong thing. I think what's even more so important than men learning how to set boundaries correctly is them learning the value of the house that they have. If you don't understand that you're worthy and deserving of love, how can you possibly put up the right security measures for someone to enter into your home? This is obviously something we go through with the four pillars of men's mental health in my group or with one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can learn how to set boundaries as clearly as you want, but if you don't know the value of who you are, you may still be putting a beware of dog sign up in front of a mansion when it really needs laser beams, security cameras, and someone standing guard at the door. Some of you might resonate with the kind of people you'd be letting in. But just something to think about next time someone crosses your boundaries. What kind of warning signs are you giving them and what kind of consequences are you upholding? Mm.